Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, what is my YouTube channel, man? Is this boy already alive? Framework and more wine. Let's paste the link. Hey, that's me. Hello, what up man? What up everyone? Welcome here. Welcome to the to the office. The office of the Anthony GG Incorporation. Uh, today we're gonna do some um, some open source stuff on the Hollywood framework because yeah, this is my entity thing. We don't need that. <coughs> What's the stream what is going on here? What up, Vishesh, Shadef, uh, Abdes, Fassat, Golang Development Roadmap, of course, if you can provide the Golang Development Roadmap, is to press buttons on your keyboard. Trust me. Uh, actually, to be honest, guys, what is the roadmap? Um, I have I have a shit ton of videos. I'm basically, I'm, I'm the world champion of Golang Development. Not the best, but look at this. This guy here, Anthony GG, if you click this video, if you... 267 videos of Golang. I have a playlist here. And if you go to this playlist, um, you have something like how to Golang. <clears throat> 64 videos here. You click this thing. And then you're gonna, if you follow all these videos, it is. I'm gonna be honest, the first videos are gonna be, uh, the font size and everything is gonna be a little bit wacky wacky. A little bit sus, but hey, uh, I need to learn. I need to improve, right? Now check this one, and um, if you have all 264 videos watched, you're gonna be just like me. <clears throat> hey, bro, thanks for everything, Farus, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We are back, guys. I'm coming from the biggest burnout in my life. <laughs> it was insane. Oh, man. I never had such a burnout in my life. Never ever. It was crazy. I thought burnout was for pussies. <laughs> oh man. But I, I recovered. You know what I mean? I I recovered. Recovered, recovered. But I'm I'm training too much for the marathon and all that stuff. And I, 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 it's so it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Yes. Uh can we scale this up? Yeah, we can. Uh maybe go, are we gonna scale? Are we gonna scale this up one more time? Why not? Look at that. It's for the blind fucking homies here <clears throat> and of course uh, guys if you're not subscribed to the channel consider subscribing to the channel jump into the discord community leave some questions so we can boost up the algorithm uh, you don't need to actually you can just press buttons in the comments and press enter it doesn't matter as long as YouTube see that there's going to be some interaction it's fine that's the only thing we need right um, yeah also check out the full-time gold uh, it's my program Put on good, of course, for the Golang engineers. And then we have the Patreon, right? Check out my Patreon. It's You can check all videos, 30 seconds for free. So if it's not for you, then it's not for you. You know what I mean? <clears throat> okay, so what's what's going on here with the Hollywood thing? Actually, to be honest, I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete the font a little bit. Shrink it a little, a little, a little bit. Pop me your pants just a little bit. Anyway, so, <clears throat> yeah, so there is a problem at Hollywood. So I did a refactor not so long ago. <clears throat> enter. <laughs> Press enter. Can we scale this? Yeah, we can. And uh, maybe not on my... Uh, okay, so we have this fixed inbox stop when process is shut down, recover panic on start. From our boy, T. Prifty, which is Terry Prifty, which is one of the... He's amazing. He's amazing, amazing, amazing. I met this guy three years ago when he was an employee of my startup, Lavenue. He was amazing. And he still is. So big 
shout out to T Prifty. Thank you very much. Anyway, <clears throat> so the problem is here. When the process was shut down, the processor was still invoked by Inbox. Also, if the max restarts was three, for example, the process would restart three times, trigger a shutdown, restart the fifth time, I'm not quite sure what's happened with the fourth time, sixth time, seventh time, and so on, depending on the number of messages. Yeah, I see what's going on here. And that's all because uh, I refactored the GGQ into a ring buffer and I made some mistakes. Correction. There are no mistakes. There only are little happy accidents. That's true. Se Guys, your, your nicknames, man. This is insane. Seprik Gigi Fan. Gigi Fan, <laughs> his name. Oh, I really appreciate your work. You're all the best in this shit. Um, thank you so much. Yum. What up, man? Yum. Meraba Yum. Goeiedag, mijn jongen. Anyway, so. So, Terry discovered this channel because he's using that in production. <laughs> it's a bold move, but hey. Um, and and, and he, did, he did a PR, right? So, I checked out his PR, I think. Uh, is that true? Yes, inbox stop. It's his PR, right? So... But the, the first thing I did, guys, is uh, I, I did a make a make test, right? And and if you do a make test here, <laughs> we already see that the race detector is detecting races, right? Um, yeah. So that's the thing. Because I was reviewing this 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 PR here, and I told. What they're doing here is inbox. We're gonna check that in code. This GitHub is, is I, I don't know. I, I don't really like it to use this interface. So he does he does something like is inbox uh, in prox that is stopped. Um, yada yada. And I and, and I commented, don't we need atomically load this variable, right? Because we are in an. Uh, how do you say that? We are in an in a go routine environment, right? Asynchronous environment. Anyway, so let's let's check that out, right? So we're gonna open up the inbox thing. Um, we have a ring buffer here with an envelope, an envelope, an envelope. Yeah. So we do some stuff. Inbox run. Um, I'm thinking, should we actually make um, some kind of an example so we can debug that stuff, or what are we gonna do? Maybe we should. Maybe we should here. So inbox. Where is the status here? Is this new? This is new. Because I don't think I have a stopped. This thing was, was gone. Right? Yeah, you see? Stopped here. That's new, huh? That's new. And then this is new. Okay, before we do this, guys, we need to have some kind of an example because otherwise it's 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 gonna be nasty. Um, they already prepared a test file for us. I knew this was coming. I'm a visionaire. <clears throat> But actually, we cannot do it in inbox because it doesn't really actually matter. It should be a process, to be honest. We don't have tests for this thing? What's going on? What's going on here? Do we not have tests for inbox? For process? It's probably engine test. Here. I think I should ta take this to Hectoberfest. Hectoberfest, Hectoberfest, Hectoberfest. It's every day is Hectoberfest, you know what I mean? There is no, it's, it's, we live in a 24 seven hackathon for the rest of our lives.
But this is weird because this is gonna work perfectly fine. Yeah, it's gonna fail because we're panicking, right? Oh no, it is actually. Yeah, 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 I see, I see, I see. Anyway, so there is one thing we already know there's a, uh, a race condition which I already spotted on the review. So I think to fix that, we go into inbox here. Let's fix that first, right? No, it's inbox actually, to be honest. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm just, I just woke up actually, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, so this is what we do. So if we schedule this thing, we do a compare and swap in 32, which is basically you compare and then you swap the status. Right? So if we process, we store the idle thing. So I'm going to copy this already because this is something what we need to do here, right? Atomically store in proc status. Yeah, and it's going to be stopped, right? Boom, that's the first thing we're gonna do here. And then here. Compare and swap, here's no compare and swap. So this is a problem for in box.proc status is not stopped. We do this stuff. So what you could do here is a compare and swap, right? So you could do atomic compare, uh, com compare and swap and 32. Executes the compare and swap operation. Consider using one and only response. Consider using the more ergonomic and less error prone in 32 compare and swap instead. What do you mean, Golang? Rob. Rob, what do you mean? Do you mean that compare and swap is just complete bullshit and we should actually use in 32 compare and swap instead? <clears throat> How do we do that compare and swap? If it's idle, we set the running. Is that true? We don't need a compare and swap. I think you could do something like um, I'm still confused with this compare and swap, but it's fine. Just pressing buttons, you know what I mean? I'm just pressing buttons here, you know? Push the button. I think it's a song from uh, Push the Button. Nah, nah, nah. I don't know, from, from some kind of a girl band back in the day. Destiny's Child? No. Push the buttons. Actually, to be honest, I want to know it right now. Uh, push the button song. Push the button. Girl song. Push the buttons. Sugar babes. <laughs> the sugar babes. Remember the sugar babes, man. I, I I swear to God, I think everybody watching this 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 stream right now, they don't know have a clue who this who the fucking sugar babes are. But these are the sugar babes, and they had the song "Push the Button." And I think if we play it, I'm gonna get demonetized. You know what I mean? So we're not gonna do it. But do it yourself. Push the button. Um, Anthony, are you neat now? What do you mean by that? Anthony, do you take creatine every single day? Five grams of creatine so you can have these beautiful muscles, to be honest. But the lighting is not, not that bad, not that good. You see this? This, that. This outline, man, it's crazy. I don't know why. 
Creatine, you, you, you just take creatine every single fucking day for the rest of your life and you don't deload it or you load it, you just take it every day, five grams for the rest of your life. That's what you do, right? <clears throat> no questions asked. So I'm thinking here, if we run the inbox, So where is run getting called? Because I'm not quite sure. So process here, right? So wait, this is actually, to be honest, we need to be very careful here, right? I'm not gonna lie. Oh, this um, GitHub and their new interface, man. I don't know what fucking crack they smoked, but. This is not true. 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 So yeah, 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 yeah. This is a for loop, but this for loop, it doesn't go forever. Because if somebody calls stop, we pop all of them. We invoke. Unless there are no messages anymore, we return. I cannot, I cannot even see the, the the correctness of this thing, to be honest. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a git reset. I'm so sorry, guys. Git reset, man. I cannot even uh, git checkout. I want a master here. Uh, this one, master. Close all editors here. Get branch, probably master. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's do get check. Hmm. Get checkout minus B, test inbox, stop, issue. <clears throat> Because there are some, there are some problems. It's a very complex code I've written. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's very hard for people to 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 understand what's going on, and that's gonna cause some uh, some 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 pull requests that could be mis misleading or misinterpreted. Because uh, uh, engine test. I need to go here. Click my mouse like a pepega. Here, test restart. Let's see what's going on here, right? So that's fine. This this panic is fine. So what is his problem then? I need to pee, man. It's crazy. When the process was yeah, okay, cool. When the process was shut down. What up, LDM? Uh, it's only. The Vim extension in VS Code feels sluggish. No, man, it's not sluggish. I need to pee. Be right back, boys. Hey, stay here. 34 viewers. It's already better than it was. Stay here. No, no, no.
Ben iyi re! Yanlış! Ben iyi re! What's going on iş? So what this this test is doing is we make an engine yada yada and then we do uh, we spawn this function and then we're gonna say yeah, for each time this data that we're sending is not pen we're going to do a panic here right um, and so we're gonna send one two and then three so it's gonna restart restart that's fine. Okay, so the thing I think he is meaning, let's make a new one. Funk test restarts max restarts. I don't know, man. Uh, T testing. T. Let's copy. E is going to be new engine. Spawn, funk. Hey, 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 see uh, context. Now with the spawn funk, man, I'm gonna copy this thing to be honest. I, I, I'm done here. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know I'm missing open brace. It, it, it lately happens to me a lot of time. I cannot see it. I don't know what it is. I'm getting old. I even have these glasses. I'm going to turn it off because now I'm Superman. <laughs> it's actually, it, it's it's just for a um, screen. It's a screen glow. It's not because I'm blind. Um gonna test it real quick what's gonna happen I know I don't need this pit to be honest I don't need this VG group so if the data is not 10 we're gonna panic right else fine so now we're gonna say each wait this weight group is probably to test no it's not okay cool uh, for Look at that, why is it not type hinting my uh, snippet here? Yeah, it is, look at that, beautiful. 10 times actually here, right? E sent payload. Why? We need the pit actually, to be honest. We need the pit. All right, so we're gonna send 10 times. This is the last time, it's probably nine, right? But it doesn't actually matter because we have how many restarts do we I think we have three restarts automatically, right? So let me see what's going on here. Mm -hmm. So max restart is three, but we are at at, at step seven. It, it, that's that's no good, right? Oh, 
Okay, so I can already see what the problem is. So that's that's the thing with the test, right? This test restart is a little bit uh, misleading because it, it said, yo, it's testing the restarts, but actually it's testing some kind of restarts, but it's not testing the max restarts. So that's this test. Test restart, max restarts, right? So what our boy Teddy did is basically, okay, his thinking process was, okay, uh, it, we need to find a way to stop this inbox from processing. And now with Golang, we have some cool stuff we can clear it here, actually, to be honest. This buffer later on, you could just do a cleat. And then buffer, right? We didn't have that. You even have a slices contains. That's amazing, I use that. Can you talk about uh, Linux kernel net post net pool stuff related handling? That's too complex for me, man. I, like I said, I'm a simple man. And I do simple stuff. I keep things simple. I love that. So I'm thinking here if the max restart, so why are we trying to restart? This I gonna I'm, I'm gonna be honest here. This restart code is very nasty. It's a filthy. It's a filthy place to be. So the thing is, look at that, right? So what is the re, the, the default restart here? E dot. Can we... Where are opts, man? Config. Where is this e configure? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm confused. It's a long time that I actually touched this guys. Touch this code to be honest. Hey, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Hey. Okay, we got these opts here, right? Opts in process, yeah, 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 I see, I see. Where is this called? Engine? Here. Spawn. Ah, uh, it's the spawn options. Okay, I got it. I got it. I was confused. Okay, cool. Sorry, I needed to revisit a little bit, right? Um, I 
with Max Vista. Hey, if you don't, people are com people are complaining on this video. Oh, optional uh, functional builders pattern. Use the builder pattern. Fuck you. That's what I'm gonna tell you. Fuck you. Use the builder pattern. <laughs> the builder pattern. I mean. Why? Leave me alone. Go watch another channel. Comment somewhere else, man. Please. Now he's stuck. So I understand what Teddy is trying to do with his uh, with this stop the inbox thingy. That's fine. But the problem actually is that we should trigger it. Let me open up. Uh, and it's three, and it's two, and it's one. Here, here, here it is. Look at that. This is what we need. So, max restarts exceeded shutting down. So the process is shutting down, like like Teddy said, right? And then the inbox is still running. It's still running. What is a distributed system? Um. Listen. So what is a distributed system? A distributed system is basically like a woman. Right? So let's say you have a girlfriend right? and she lives in one house with you, your wife. Right? No big of a deal. Of course, it's a big of a deal, right? Because writing clean code is maintaining code. Maintain it it's, can be nasty, but not big of a deal. But imagine that you are a little, little, little sneaky peeky, you know what I mean? And you have multiple women and they live in different houses. That basically mean that now your wives or your girlfriends are distributed. And that's a big problem because communication, how are you gonna do that? You're gonna have a cell phone, your wife is in the house, so if you get a message, she cannot see that. Then there is a problem because who is sending you that message? It could be Alicia, it could be Kelly, it could be Kay, it could be uh, Bianca, you know? It, they are all sending messages, you need to make sure that your wife cannot see it or don't find out. And actually you cannot get rid of the problem because if you go to the house of Bianca, it's the same, it's the same thing over again, right? So that's a distributed system. It's bad news. Okay, 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 okay. So we're building up, right? We're building up. We're building our knowledge base up. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, then we have this thing, this this message. Yeah. Okay, so did you see what happens? Before you can actually do some stuff, you need to build up your knowledge base on what's going on. It can take a time. I know it's boring, but that's what you are gonna do if you do that stuff. That's what you're gonna do if you work on an open source project. That's also what you are gonna do if you work at a company and you need to fix stuff. It's it's not that easy, right? I understand that all the videos, it's easy, they just write from a blank page and it, but this is this is this is real work, right? This is open source stuff. <clears throat> this is used in production by the way, I'm not gonna lie, it's crazy. It escalated very quickly. Um so if we get this restart here. So we need to so we need to think about that. Okay, so we have a process. A process has an inbox. Let's open Escalade Draw. And what I actually want to do, guys, is <laughs> I want to make Escalade Draw also from scratch uh, in Golang, um, where they also could have like real-time collaboration or something. I think that could be a cool project because I really want to do something with a uh, something that has frames per second. So we have a process here. All right. Hey, text, please. 
Wait, oh, there's no text. I'm so sorry. I'm, 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 I'm not, I'm not Bob Ross. Um, where is text? Am I completely blind? <laughs> A process, right? A process is spawning. This thing, right? This Excalibur is so underrated, man. It's a, it's a sleeper. Who's sleeping on this? Who's sleeping on this, man? It's crazy. So you spawn an inbox, but if we close, so if we shut down, if we have max restarts here, right? We, we do a cleanup return, right? Let's clean up. Let's check it out. Speaking of cleanup, I need to do it right now. Uh, not right now. Today I need to clean up my house because my my cleaning keepy keepy my cleaning keepy. My cleaning lady, which could be cleaning keepy, why not? It's, it's actually a cool word, uh, cleaning keepy. She is on vacation and she decided to be on a vacation for one month <laughs> because she's from Portugal. I swear to God, she's from Portugal. <laughs> so and that's bad news, man, because now I need to do it all myself and I'm not a cleaning keepy. Um, Clean up. So what do we do here? Context message, apply middleware. Yeah, because we, we're gonna stop this stuff. Yeah, we're gonna send stopped to the to the thingy. Context children, we, we, we close the children, you know what I mean? Prox it down. But are we using inbox shutdown? Prox it down. Um, um, um. Inbox stop. That's what we need. Inbox stop. I'm sweating like a fucking. And that's something that's not working, right? Inbox stop. Inboxer in interface. Beautiful, right? Return no. Yeah, of course. And Terry, Terry, yeah, I see. So Terry did then. We set it to stop. Then if it stopped, we. Uh, all right, all right, all right. I like it. I like it. I like it. Now I'm now I'm actually uh, up to speed. Now I'm up to speed. Yeah, yeah, I'm up to speed. So inbox stop actually. That basically means that. Excalibur is awesome. It, it, it's I don't know what it is, but it's that that, that thing is 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 the best thing that happened ever happened to me. The, like I said, I'm using this for everything. Look at that. It's just my whole life in Excalibur, man. This is so amazing. I don't know what it is. Uh, uh, did you know by the way that Figma is written in C That's crazy, right? I mean, how did they do that? It's it's insane. Just uh, just thinking about that. Like this piece of technology, like uh, Figma and all that stuff. <laughs> What's <is> this? <gasps> Look at him! <laughs> Look at this boy! Oh man, he's so cute! Look at him! And housekeepy! But the thing is that uh, this whole thing, yeah, I know I'm making games and all that stuff, it's amazing. Having some fun to cure my depression. This thing is written in C. I think is Figma written in C. Figma's main code is written in Rust and C. This Figma's main code is written in and C. Then they somehow compile, translate that to JS and run it using WebGL. I think now they are compiling to Wasm. Then they use HTML canvas element to run the WebGL code. That's beautiful. Reddit, ooh, that's not the that's not the best source to read stuff. Reddit, that's, that's stay away from Reddit. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, Reddit is, is a bad place to be.
running inside Chromium. Rest is a game. Rest is a game. That's exactly. Rest is a game. That's true. Uh, weapon summon. Actually, I see. Yeah, man. That's crazy, actually, to be honest. Anyway. Uh, so I think Escaldra should do, should do something similar, right? You, you're not going to write this, this stuff in TypeScript because that's the worst language ever. Look at that. I had a tweet. <laughs> Look at this guy. This, this guy. He's, he's hilarious. Uh, what is his name? It is um, John Paddock. This, ty this TypeScript guru. What is his name? That was so funny. Like... What the hell is going on here? What is this tweet? I need to show you this tweet to be honest, I'm gonna lie. What is his name? There's all game stuff on my on my thing, man. What is his name? John Paddock. Uh TypeScript Wizards John Paddock. Total TypeScript. He disguises. Yeah. What is his name, man? Pocock. Matt Pocock. That's not Paddock. Matt Pocock. Man, he's he's so lucky that he chose TypeScript because it's the best language to sell courses for. Because it's so complicated, nobody has a clue what's going on. Um, po po Pocock. Cock. Pocock. Anyway, Matt. So I was. Yeah, 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 yeah. He had a video. It was a video. And that made me actually frown my uh, my eyebrows, not gonna lie. So I'm gonna go to his page. But, but it's a smart guy, not gonna lie. He's a smart guy, right? <laughs> Theo, Theo is also here, of course. The whole fucking... All these guys combined does not ha even have uh, uh, half of my testosterone, you know what I mean? They are like... Uh, how do you call it? Lucifers. They, they snap. Right? They snap. Uh, if they if they miss... If they miss... Miss... Uh, place their food, it's... It's done. It's GG. Anyway, so... There was a, a thingy. Nonetheless, smart guys, right? M nonetheless, that doesn't really matter. Where is this tweet of, of him? Because I really need to eat this one. Here. So. Here. So this talk by Alexandra says on the TS performance is absolute fire. Right? This video, we're not going to watch it. Some takeaways. Break your big type helpers into smaller ones. So then I was thinking that, that actually you don't, you, you, you don't need to read this. So wait, actually we do. So this this is actually actually the some takeaways. Break your big type helpers into smaller ones. That that should already frown your eyebrows, right? TypeScript caches the result of generic types by the names yada yada. That means that the smaller and smaller blah, blah 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 blah. Got a sixty got a sixty liner type helper called Computing T. Break it up to smaller pieces. So now I'm thinking, okay, cool. So we have JavaScript, which basically is. It's fine, it has its but it's JavaScript, right? So they make a language called TypeScript, which solves the problem of not having types in JavaScript. Sounds like a plan to me. But then you need to write type helpers in TypeScript. So you need to help it, its own typing system. That's this, only this tweet. I'm never gonna use TypeScript all my life again. It's better to use just JavaScript and not have types at all. Or use yes doc or something else then having typescript so you need to write type helpers to help you type the typescript let that sink in that's complete waste of time that's complete that's bad that's that's just throw it away so then of course you have these guys making courses about task because it's an overly complicated language everybody's gonna buy your course because nobody knows what's the deal that's the thing Anyway, that's that's what I want to show you. TypeScript, garbage. Um, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna make a tweet here. Actually, no, we're gonna do that. Anyway, let's go back to Go. Stay focused. <laughs> so how is Go solving the distributed systems problem? I never understood that. Um, oh yeah, like if we go back to the wife's problem, and then you have Go, which is basically. Um, Mm 
that's a very good question. How is Go Solomon distributed? Uh, problem. If we take the, the wife's analogy, the, the multiple girlfriends problem. It's a common problem in this world. Well, there is only one way to solve distributed systems is to not write one. That's the only uh, that's the only advice I can I can say to you. <laughs> Often, if you have to, if you if you need to make a sixty line type helper, that means your approach or that's overly common. Of course, it is, man. Of course, it's. I'm gonna be honest. Like t having TypeScript to help you with types in JavaScript is 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 good. So if I need to write TypeScript for myself, it's amazing because I just make a simple, just like in Go, you make a type, and you use that type as the type. In your functions and, and that's it right easy but of course these 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 typescript devs they want to make everything so complicated with genetics and genetics and and the rest is the same thing the rest is the same thing right the rest is overly complicated it is what it is but i'm like i said i'm not the smartest kid on the block so that's why these languages are way too complicated for a simple man like me <clears throat> Okay, so let's go back to solving this problem here. But we need to be entertainment, right? In the stream, you know what I mean? We cannot just do this because everybody go is going somewhere else. So I want to know when this inbox is a run. Each time we send... Because that's the, the interface of Inbox. Where is the interface of this thing? Because I think sent is the, is the yeah, Inbox is sent. That's getting called. So each time we send, we push that to the queue and then we schedule. It's this one. So it's not the inbox that needs to be stopped. It's some kind of a of a housekeeping that needs to be the sent doesn't need to be called. So let's go back to process and let's open up. Let's search for sent. Sent. Yeah, here. So it's process sent. Wait, so each time we close the process basically means that the pointer is not cleaned up. It stopped. It doesn't mean that we need to delete it, right? The process is stopped. <laughs> TypeScript could be a good language. Uh, like, because Ram, Ram Fata says crazy and agree. TypeScript is garbage. Yeah, it could be something nice, but they... Now they're using a using a, now they implement a using keyword which <laughs> why so I'm trying to figure out the best way to solve this problem here to see if Terry is right with his with his, with his approach because. So we do a registry remove here, right? We stop the inbox. Th these are very important stuff here, right? So what I'm gonna do is...
Uh, I'm confused here, to be honest. I'm gonna lie. This is. Uh, Okay, this is this recovery, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some internal error, yeah. I'm a little bit confused what's happening with this test, to be honest, but. Is it hanging? Oh wait, what I can do is instead of the I can do it actually better, I can do this. Uh look fatal. That's better. Debugger, man. That's my debugger. Okay, nice. And the find. Oh yeah, it's because. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 okay, got a break point. <laughs> so, can we go and clean up here? Place the break point here. Okay. Shutting down, yeah. Um, so we uh, remove this thing. So if we say that a process is shut down, but it still receives messages, so we can test that, right? Because that's the problem. We need we need to go. We, we need this bug is bigger than the fucking this bug. This can be. This is going to. This is much further than we think it is. Um, It's not uh, really has something to do with a. Uh... So, oh yeah, it's not gonna find it anymore because it's out of the fucking. Because if we clean up, this pit is not going to be retrievable anymore, so we cannot send it anymore. That makes sense. Print debugging, that's what I, I I'm 36, you know what I mean? Check my YouTube channel. That's what I do. I just print stuff. There's no need for a debugger. You know what? If you need a debugger, 
if you're working in CC++ or something, you maybe need one. In Golan, you never need one. If you, you can say whatever you want, you can use debuggers. I don't fucking care. You do you. You know what I mean? Uh, you do you. I don't fucking give a shit what you do. Um, if you think Delve is good and 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 you're fa and and you're happy, you're happy, man. This is what it is. I don't use debuggers. It's a waste of time. I mean, if you're if you if you need to debug a, a number, if you need to debug. The, the, the exact value of a variable somewhere inside at a certain point of time your program can be in the can be in the in the dumpster I never had I, I once had to do that and I was in the GGQ implementation exactly in this project. I needed to use a debugger. But that problem was from a complete other level. That was a very, very nasty problem. It was in a for loop. And I needed to check a certain... A certain... Bo a, a certain value... Of a pointer. At a certain specific point at a certain specific iteration. You're not gonna use a print line for that, right? That's, but when do you need to have that kind of a debugging power? If you, if you need that kind of debugging power, a lot of times you are writing your code in a way too much complicated way. And I'm gonna say again something, the more complicated code you write, the less money you're gonna earn. Because all these fancy C++ devs, all these uh, low-level developers, they don't make any money. Uh, I'm, uh, and you, you can say whatever you want. I don't give a shit again. Uh, but it is what it is, right? It's basically the ChatGPT API wrappers, uh, PP, has that makes the most money. You know what I mean? It is what it is. That's, that's how life is, right? Um, I'm still confused that we are... Hey Anthony, how are you doing? I'm fine, man. So the thing is actually, we can we can solve this issue like Terry did and call it a fucking day, but it's still in, my, in, in my, the back of my mind. It cannot leave me alone. And that's the fact that we are... Um, that we are still able to send messages. Because this is supposed to shut down, right? That's good, that's good news. That's very good news, so we, we, yeah. So that works like in tandem, right? So we basically poison this thing. We wait until it's shut down and then we start sending these messages and they are all ending up in the dead letter. So that's good news. The question rather exists that if we do not do this and we poison
Oh, we have three stars. I would recommend to stack this in the output. Um, the man himself, ladies and gentlemen, Teddy Prifty, right here, right now. The scent is a sink. Yeah. So we cannot actually... Well, the scent is a sink, that's not being said, right? Scent is, can be called a sink, but it's not be. So the problem is that this process restarts is going to be garbage. So to be honest, like, like I said before, it doesn't even matter because this pro problem is going a little bit deeper. I think if, like you said, Teddy, I was just thinking, uh, like you mentioned, is if we can just stop the inbox from running, which I actually trying to do before we need to touch the inbox into process itself. Because in my opinion, if we are over our, um, or ex, um, if we are over the, the max restarts, there is no need to send uh, anymore, right? No, oh, yeah, but that doesn't. Yeah, yeah. Actually, th that was not too shabby. Actually, um, oh man. Man, I mean, if we, if, if this, this is one restart, I don't know what's going on. This is just, this thing has one fucking res, where is this, where is this test? This is one fucking restart. So that basically means once we have one fucking problem here, one uh, recovered panic, it just needs to get it rid out of the fucking registry and nobody can send and it's and all the rest is going to the fucking that letter and that that's what's go, that's what needs to happen here. that's the only thing that needs to happen there is no this inbox doesn't really matter because it's the process that's going to call inbox sent so if the process is not going to call inbox sent, it doesn't really matter because inbox run is only got listen teddy so if now that you're here the inbox run is only getting called if you call send on it. There is no need to have a, st uh, a, a stopped status here because each time you call send, you're going to push it to the queue and then you're going to schedule, which then it's going to check just for the sake of are we already running it or already idling, idling it so we can run the go uh, runtime go chat to give it some time to process all these messages. But if we don't call send, we don't need to schedule, we don't need to push anything. And this run will basically keep going. It will keep going until everything is popped out of the queue. So that's cool. But that could be the problem actually. Yeah, you are right. So it's going to call, let's say, let's say it has a buffer of messages. Let's say here are 10 messages in. So there are actually two bugs. There are two bugs in, in, in the process right now. First of all, if we have max restarts exceeded
It's the inbox. Steady, you're right. So this could be a buffer of 10 already in. And then it's going to call, it's going to keep running these things. But there is a problem. T Teddy, you're right. Teddy, you're a fucking hero. Teddy, you are so small. You see, Teddy is even smaller as me. Can you can you see that? Teddy is right. Because the inbox is going to get cleaned up, but the, the, the these messages are already inside of this fucking queue. They are already. So it's not the, the process problem anymore. It's the inbox. So it's going to keep running, but this invoke is causing is causing uh, problems. It's it's causing panic. So we recover that. But it doesn't really matter because the inbox has no fucking clue how many restarts we have. And we call stop, but we do not then. So Teddy has right here. I'm the square root of Anthony. He is. He's the square magnitude. He is the, the length of the vector. You know what I mean? Teddy is the length of my vector. That's the thing. He is the... the how do you call that? The legacy. He's going to be my, my, my legacy. How, how do you say that? He's, he's, he's following up the throne. It's Teddy GG. Very soon. That's true. Teddy has right. So they are sitting in here. These motherfuckers. Right? So we, ended, we, we need to do that. So... That's beautiful. Okay, Teddy, you're right. So basically now I have the good understanding of the problem. So now we're gonna reset uh, heart. That's what we that's what we love, right? Heart. Um, and then we're gonna say actually here get checkout is gonna be the Teddy's inbox problem. Inbox stop. That's Teddy's that, that's Teddy's code. Right? But now uh, this is gonna be a problem, Teddy. Look at that. Make test here. Probably didn't didn't run that. You're gonna have um, database conditions, right? So you need to do something like if wait atomic atomic dot store this something like that. So I don't actually like this stop thingy. It's going to be an inbox. Maybe we should do. Inbox, oh yeah, it's fine. And then we need to check it here also. Uh, so this is important. So each time we are going to send here. They are already in, right? So they are already inside of the buffer. They are not here. They are not in sent. They are already inside of... They are already sitting in line. They are already sitting in the, in the CPU cache, ready to get, uh, you know what I mean? Ready to get processed. So, that's here. We are, we are here, processing these things, these guys. <whistles> so now, like Teddy did, only if it's not stopped. And then we need to atomically load this thing. Load in 32. In pointer. This is not. Hola. Is not stopped. So, but now I have a good understanding of the fucking problem, right? Uh, so, what I want to do now is actually go back to this engine test and do the same thing. I'm going to copy this whole code here, like that. I'm gonna paste that in. I'm gonna say test restarts uh, max restarts like that. Clear the buffer here. Nah, yeah, 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 yeah. Stop. Okay, I type it out for x equals zero smaller than y is x because I'm making too much games. Um, and then we're gonna say e sent bit payload y, right? But we have one restart.
What the hell that just happened? Did I again miss this thing? No? It's really cleared. I did copy it with me then. Is that? Oh, okay, cool. Got it. All right, cool. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. That works, so Teddy. That works pretty fine, right? Now it works pretty fine. So we have one restart here, max restarts, Y Y, and then it's gonna say, "Yo, hey, 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 amigo." Max restart exceeded. I'm shutting down. I call it a day. So that's beautiful, right? So the thing is that uh, let's do two, one, two, exceeded. Bravo, bravo, Terry! Uh, just, I, I, but Terry, hey, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit disappointed that the fact that you didn't do a make test to check the data risk condition. I don't know what's happened, Terry. I don't understand. I don't understand. And then you have something else that, I, that 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 made the question questionable thing is you did another restart in process, another defer, another uh, recover. So I'm gonna see why. Recover, recover. Right. So we have this recover here, which is in the invoke, perfectly fine. And then we have a recover here that starts. Very smart from Terry. This is this, this, this guy. I already told you. I, 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 I hired this guy three years ago for this specific reason. You guys have no clue. And Terry, did, 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 he didn't do nothing when, when I interviewed him. He didn't do nothing. He was a rookie. He was a young boy. But I hired him. And see, and I, I knew why. I'm a visionary, like I said. Look at that. So, Terry, think. So, we are checking. Yo. If, if we are trying to invoke a message and we panic, we're going to restart, but start is also a message, right? Start, it could be that your initializer code is basically completely garbage and it cannot even start up. So it can never restart because we are not started up, if you know what I mean. So that's why he does this recover here. But uh, something we need to double check is also, well, not now, but later on is the context. That's a nasty thing. It's like a request in, go in uh, HTTP. And then you have these PPGAs guys that are trying to uh, keep a, a reference to the request in their application. You know what I mean? Because they have no clue that it's basically request based. It's one request. You get the request, you make a response, but they still have the request to do some operations with it, but they don't have a clue that it's already done. It's GG, it's game over. You know what I mean? The client is satisfied. But they still have this this pointer to that thing. For no reason. Same thing here. If you have a context pointer to your context, which I tend to do, but I the message in the context is not the message anymore. Just like Carlos Matos always said, the the world is anymore the way it used to be. Oh no no no. The same thing with the context. But that's that's something else, that's another problem. And that's not my problem, that's your problem. That's the problem of the beholder, you know what I mean? If you have the Thunder Fury in World of Warcraft, it's, it's your responsibility.
Yeah, okay, fine. For me, this is this is this is good shit right now. We still have a problem. What is TTTT? What do I still have this thing? What's going on here? This needs to be deleted, but not quite sure if I can can push directly to your branch. To be honest, can I do that? We still have a problem. Um, Wait, what? because sometimes VS Code is just garbage, right? We can see that we're still hanging somewhere. I think it's gonna be... Um Question is, am I actually live on Twitch also? I am. <laughs> hey, Twitches, what's going on? I'm so sorry. Look at that. These guys are left alone in the dark. What's going on? Man, hey, I'm so fucking sorry, guys. Oh, there's only one left, and that's probably myself. They're already gone because I left them in the dark. What a bad streamer am I? Holy crap. Do you like this? Of course, did we miss that? Do you like eating la frite and mayonnaise? That's the classic Twitch thing, right? But hey, yeah, it is what it is, right? We need to live with that. The question is what test is actually. Uh, pro making problems to be honest. Is it the new one? Oh yeah, it's this one. It's this 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 weight group here. Um that, sh that, that, that should make <laughs> Wat is dat hier allemaal, zeg? Tch, 
<laughs> writing these 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 as because it's all async. The spawn funk is async, and then the sending and it, it, it's testing these things is 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 not the easiest way, right? It's not like uh, it is if username is 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 GG uh, the turn through. That's not the case. It's a little bit different, right? It's a little bit more complex. You know what I mean? Um, is this this weight group? Fuck the weight groups. Man, what is hanging, man? What's going on? Okay. Okay, okay. So it's this weight group, right? We know that. Uh... How long effectively can you code in a day? Well, uh, let's say one more hour and then it's GG well played than, than anymore. Especially after this uh, very focused stuff, I can, it's, it's, it's over. Then maybe later today or something, I, I can do some, maybe tonight, but that's more, I don't know. I'm planning to do some Raylip stuff more. Uh, and that's cool. That's chill, you know. Of course, if, if I would not stream, this issue was already been fixed, but it's, it's very hard, right? You, you guys, like I said before, streaming and doing, it, it's a very net, it's a very in-depth problem that needs to be checked. And then you need to stream and you need to check all these fucking uh, things. It's, it's not, it's not that, uh, and being at the team, it's not that convenient to do. Um, but I thought it was nice to, to, to let you guys know, to let you guys see um, what it takes to, to to fix these things. So one more problem is this weight group is nice because if we wanna... The question is, when do we know this weight group is over? So is stop getting called? Yeah, stop is getting called. Multiple times. Ah. Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. Stopped is getting called each time we stop. A, a restart is also a stop. So that means that we could do restarts. It's going to be two. Then we're going to say here restarts. And then we say here, restarts. And then we wait here, uh, sync with group. Was he? Yeah. 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 Was he? Okay, let's test this again. Let's go. It's still problematic. It's not. Why is there a fail? But now it's it, it doesn't uh, it doesn't um, hang anymore. I failed to post this message. Yeah 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 yeah. Negative weight group counter. Is it calling it then three times? Another bug. You know, we are spitting. We are. We are. We are basically. Well, I don't know what we're doing, but we are. We are cleaning out the closet. You know what I mean? Cleaning out Theo's closet he's coming out of. Um, 
that's the closet we're cleaning out and 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 we, we open the closet and the, the bodies bodies are coming out of it like the, the primogen is falling out it's still falling out of the closet who, who's out who else is falling out of that andreas kling also he's, they're all in the closet you know i don't know what they're doing in there i don't know maybe they are camming each other's mustache i don't know I, just saying it could be you know what i mean um I don't know, maybe they're just flexing their muscles with each other in the dark. <laughs> I don't know, man. Um, maybe they are creating a new stack. That's why it's called the T3 stack. <laughs> the T3 stack, you know what I mean? They're doing some T3 in the closet. Oh, man, I'm, I'm, my eyes are hurting already. I don't know what it is. It's fucking light, man. It's crazy. It's, it's like a laser beam. Um, so, what, what could... This is a negative weight, weight group counter, so that basically means that we're gonna take this restart C, we're gonna, we're gonna hack this, and then we're gonna say, um, we restart, but we restart minus one. We restart this minus one here, actually, to be honest. Um, and then, I'm gonna run it here. Is it getting at the weight group? What the hell is going on, you guys? But this weight group, uh, Novan, weight group for what? This weight group is basically waiting for our test to complete. Um, because if we don't wait here, right, the problem is going to be that we will never know if everything is, is being processed by this, this guy here. Wait. So what I'm going to say is... I want to see how much time this is stopped, right? Why did we do three? Yeah course it's gonna work let me do, do it right here so we have one two two times that's exactly what we want right two fucking times so this working perfectly fine This, this makes no sense what we're doing here, to be honest. for the waiting group. I'll hear it! That's good. It's fine. Let's stop this. We don't care about that. Yeah, okay, 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 let's go. Come on, let's go. Ali, let's go. Okay, so. This is good. This looks very good, man. This project is maturing. Guys, go start this start this project on GitHub. I mean, we already have... 350 start this right now now 349 stars 350 is what we need you know what i mean 350 um that's good that's good so basically now can i
Let's do a little recap. Okay. Oh. Is it like this? Okay. Atomically load. Atomically check. Inbox. Stopped status. Plus test. What happens if I... Can I? Can I? Can I push just to do that thing and it's gonna work? Shit! Probably not. I fucked it up. Shit! I need a GitHub specialist right now. How do I how, how do I push to this thing? <laughs> or oh, streamer, Mr. Streamer doesn't know how to do that or what? Where did, where did I push that? That's crazy. Daddy, how do we do this? Wait, can I push? Boom, 49. Is it like, is it something like this? Can we do that? Hat. Is it get push? Is it get push origin pool? Forty nine. Hat. Somebody needs to fix this. How do I push to a to a to a thing? Here I. Push the buttons, that's not what we want. How to push to existing pull request. Does it know where we are? <laughs> what am I doing? Probably not, right? It's not gonna be. There are fucking 19 viewers here on the fucking on the fucking YouTube and nobody knows how to do this. Get check out PR Brown. I already did that. I'm already in that branch.
But that's the Prifty Hollywood. I'm so confused. I don't understand how there is no branch in here. You know what I mean? It's like, it's so bad. How can I, I just need to copy this. Even that, man, I swear to God. Why is it so complicated, man? I already have his branch name. I'm, I'm so confused what's happening here. Seikuchi. Hollywood media. What's going on? Why are you using a fucking fork daddy? Can you why can you not just do a fucking PR to this to, to this? They're so annoying, these forks. This is so annoying. I I'm not used to that. It's a fork. It's always a fork. No, if I delete your PR, I don't wanna. I don't wanna get your your things away. Wait. All right, so we, we should have this branch name here, right? Inbox stop. So I want to see if Teddy's commits are in here. That's very important for me. Okay, Terry's, Terry's stuff isn't here. Okay, fine. Okay, Terry's stuff isn't here. That's good. I don't wanna, I don't wanna delete his, his, his things. He needs to be credited. I, did, I just did some cleanup. You know what I mean? I just did some, some minor stuff. You know what I mean? Some minor stuff. He is, he did this thing. So it's good that we have this reference. So we do some checks here. Go package build. Huh? I used to eat fried the Bruxelles with a fork. Oh, you're fucking crazy. Who eats fries with a fork? You fucking savage. You eat fries with your bare hands, man. What the fuck are you doing? With your bed, you just take the, the fruit sack and you do this. You, like, like a pussy, you know what I mean? You just put your head inside of the fruits. That's what you do. And you eat them. Just like... Yeah, you know. Two checks have passed. Beautiful. Guys, we did it. We we did some work today. We we did some we We were productive. It's amazing. Look at that. The power of being an open source maintainer. I can do I can Xena the Warrior Princess. Squash and merch. Edit process started, go audit by Teddy, automatically check inbox status plus test. I'm reading this as automatically. <laughs> this atomically. Uh, yeah. 
latest branch. So what I'm gonna do, uh, check out master. What's going on? He's get to check out master. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, that's beautiful, right? So the next thing I actually want to do is uh, I have this poison thingy. Do we have this already? No, okay. Doop! Boom! Look at that! Yes. Uh, that could be, that, that's actually a breaking change, I'm not gonna lie. This is actually a breaking change, I'm so sorry. Daddy, double check your code. Um, I could be a breaking change. Actually, it's not, right? Because it's just returning a value where it's... Well, if you, if you, if you, have, if, if you have code right now that does this, return poison, which you should never have, but if you have code like this, if that's gonna, that, that's, that's, that's gonna, not gonna work anymore. All right, guys, look at that. The, the, the project is, is uh, fixed inbox when person should not panic on start. That should be closed. This is fixed. And fuck you, we don't know. Sometimes you don't need to think about that. It's open source, you're the boss, and they need to listen or they can get the fuck out. Uh, Arab is, uh, 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 what is this safe map? We need to still check that from Igmus. Igumus, which is also a very high level engineer, this guy. Igumus, credits to this guy. Look at him. He's a maniac. And if he sees you on the street, he's probably gonna clap your cheeks. And there is nothing. But this is bad. Look at Igmus. What are you doing? What are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> um, this is failing. Why is that? This is failing. You need to fix. You need to fix this stuff. Right? We cannot. We cannot do anything about it. If it's failing, it's failing. It's, it's. It's not our problem. It's out of my control. Boom, boom, boom. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Hollywood. One more start, please. Look at that. Beautiful documentation and everything. It's amazing, right? All right. Are there any fucking uh, questions? Because I need to eat, and then I'm going to the gym. Right? It's chest day. Yes, yes, yes. And then I'm gonna clean up house, and I'm gonna probably uh, write some more goaling. I don't know what I'm gonna do. But I need to clean up the house, that's very important. So the working day is over, man. It's it's done. Right? We did what we needed to do. We did what we needed to do. It was a good one. Can you guys hear that? Probably not. <laughs> ah! It was so funny. Uh, just look it up, this tweet, because... I'm, uh, what time zone are you in? Uh, I don't know. Uh, what is this, GMT plus two or something? Brussels time zone. Brussels time zone. Central European summer time. It's 11.28. It's it's time to eat. Time to eat break, uh, lunch. 
There are people eating lunch at 14 p.m. I never understood that. What a savages. Savages are they. Uh, what else do we need to do here on Twitter? Let me quickly see what we can do with what we can find here real quick. Um, hmm. Ba -na -na. Yeah, it's fine. It's 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 nothing on. It's nothing on. I'm ha I'm happy. My 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 Twitter timeline is already different. All the Chat GPT motherfuckers are out there. All the Figma boys are out there. All the I don't know. Just are you gonna eat gofre de liege, my guys, man? <laughs> gofre waffles. Luxe waffles. Lekker. I'm gonna eat pussy. That's what I'm gonna do. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I see you in the next one. Uh, probably maybe today, maybe tomorrow. Hey, just stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Jump into Discord community. Check out the Patreon. Check out the full time GoDev program. You will find the links. I'm pretty confident. Com com confident you can find the links. Hey. <laughs>